Um, sorry about my makeup. I see now it is a bit much. It's a bit much. But I uh, tried something different today. I, I don't like it. But now we know. Now we learn. So, <laughs> it's uh, finally, finally the day. Sorry that you can hear my cat walking around, probably. It's finally the day for the final review video of the Splat 10 Wash, 10 Wash Blue Bayou No Bleach Needed Hair Dye. If you couldn't tell by my air quotes, was not a 10 wash. I'm gonna give them credit in that they did say it was a no bleach needed dye. I had roots that were pretty grown in at the time, so I can tell you right now, when they say no bleach needed, it doesn't mean it will go on top of dark hair and show up. I think what they mean by no bleach needed is if you are naturally already blonde, it'll be a 10 wash dye. I can only assume at this point. Um, so if you have hair like mine, where it is bleached, it will not, <laughs> it will not wash out in 10 washes, boy, oh boy. Let me just backtrack a second here. As far as using the dye, as far as the results, immediately after. I would say very much so it did what it was advertised to do. It went on nicely. It was a good consistency. Wasn't too runny or too thick. Now some semi-permanent dyes, even though they're supposed to be non-damaging or whatever, make your hair feel really dry afterwards. And that wasn't the case. It didn't leave my hair feeling tangly. It uh, didn't really go on splotchy in places where it were splotchy were places where I knew it was my fault for how I had applied it. Very consistent, smelled really nice, great bonus. It looked like I hadn't diluted it at all so it did look like the color that the model's hair was on the box, maybe slightly darker. But initially no issues, nothing, nothing bad. And then <laughs> came time to let it fade. So I might put in a few pictures here to kind of show what that process looked like. At first I continued with my regular hair washing method, which for me, if I wash my hair, <laughs> I'm not a wash your hair every day. I'm not even a wash my hair every other day. Um, what I would do was wash my hair like fully clarifying shampoo that whole thing um go maybe two or three days and then i would co-wash which you're just washing with conditioner to get rid of some of the buildup and then another two or three days i would wash again clarifying shampoo um <laughs> so that's what i started out doing and then very quickly realized oh my god if i do this it's gonna be months and months and months, which it still has been a couple months and still, I don't know how much this is showing up on camera, but there are parts of my hair that still have a green tint to them, especially my hair must be more porous by my temples because it has clung here and here. It is still green. So very quickly, I realized that wasn't gonna be enough. I started washing my hair with like the clarifying shampoo like every three days, and then it became every other day. And then for a little bit, I was trying to wash my hair every single day, which you can probably see, it is so dry. It is so dry right now. So earlier, notice I said <laughs> um, the dye itself, didn't dry my hair out at all. This is this is self-inflicted damage. This is I just was bored of the blue and wanted it out. This is me. This is on me. <laughs> Start washing my hair every every day. And it went pretty quickly from being 
the dark blue to like a medium blue. That, that was within like the first two or three washes. Medium blue to green, to, or not to green yet, to like a very light silver blue where it was like a weird mishmash at that point of like some of it was green and some of it was silvery and some of it was blue still. It, things got weird. And then <laughs> I would say that maybe took like four or five washes to get to the weird point. That's like eight or nine washes in. We'll say 10 washes, just to be generous. We'll say it took 10 washes until it got weird and kind of ugly looking where it was like, I, when I went out in public, it was like, oh my God, I need to wear like a hat or something. And then it stayed weird. It stayed weird and it got, it went from blue and silver and green to silver and green and very yellow and now green and yellow and white-ish blonde like my natural hair underneath all this is a very very light blonde or <laughs> not my natural hair but you know my base hair that this one on top of is a very light blonde I'm sure you can tell kind of by the video it stayed weird so in total in total and I, I included co-washes in this because I know I said at first I was doing my normal method, which included those. It took 10 co-washes and 23, 23 regular washes. And it's still not completely out. So like I said, benefit of the doubt, the name on the box, and I'll put up a picture of the box here just to, just to prove maybe Maybe it's not on splat. <laughs> Took 23 or so odd washes to get it to here. Like a summarization, if you will. Product itself um, works really well, I would say. Um, Good consistency, nice smell, isn't splotchy, it applies very nicely. The color that you get initially is very similar to the advertised color, but <laughs> when they say no bleach needed, I think they do mean you need to start with naturally blonde hair or the 10 wash that is advertised is not going to be 10 washes. <laughs> and beyond that, I'm not sure how this would play out on naturally blonde hair but there's gonna be a really weird time and the weird time is gonna last a really long time so if you want to use this product you know just putting it out there that maybe be prepared to keep up with dyeing it this color which at that point why use a 10 wash or be prepared to bleach it out if you're not <laughs> If you're not willing to have weird things going on, maybe wear wigs, maybe wear hats, you know, have have a plan in place. If you like have a job where you don't wanna go in public and have what will become patchy, weird, silver, blue, green, yellow hair, you know. You know it's gonna fade. You know it's gonna get to that point. I knew it was gonna get to that point. I just did not expect that point to take like, you know, roughly 13 washes to go away. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's all I got for you. If you have any other questions about the product that I maybe forgot to touch on, feel free to put them in the comments. I absolutely will check the comments because I'm such a small channel, I can afford to do that. So I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And now I'm gonna go bleach my hair. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>